Hey guys, what's going on? It is Justin from Nintendo Dads. Splatoon weekend has come and gone. We've all been playing Splatoon, loved it. Uh, but I did do something this weekend as well, as related to the entire Splatoon release. I picked up this, the Splatoon 2 Pro Controller. Um, so we're gonna do an unboxing of it and, uh, and give it a go. So, all right, let's, let's see. All right guys, so here is the Splatoon 2 Pro Controller. This came out on July 21st with the release of Splatoon 2 as well. Um, here's, the, here's the box for it. It's obviously showing a lot of the Splatoon you know, inklings on it, or sorry, the, the squids with the ink around it. Some of the Splatoon artwork back there. Um, pictures of the, of the actual um, controller back as well, saying it includes the USB dongle. Um, I bought this in the UK, uh, about this in Ireland. So um, yeah, nothing else to do there. But uh, let's uh, let's have a go, shall we? All right, guys. Here is the here is the uh, controller uh, opened up. Now there is a cord in there as well for the USB. But I'm like nobody wants to see a cord for a USB. You know what that looks like. But here is the here is the uh, Pro controller. So one of the first things obviously you notice is just how bright the uh, colors are: the green and the pink over here. Now, I did not purchase a original Pro Controller um, that came out when the Switch released. So this is my first Pro Controller with a Nintendo Switch. Um, and on the offset, if you notice, you kind of zoom in a little bit, you can actually start to see, I'll just kind of move the camera back and forth here, the controller, the kind of Splatoon splats, some of the kind of graffiti artwork associated with it is around. You can kind of see it nicely, um, kind of, deckled all around the entire controller. There you go, at various points. So from afar you look at it, it's just like, oh, it's a black controller with the green and, and the pink. Feels kind of uh, simplified, right? But as you get as you get closer, uh, you can actually see the, the detailing um, in there associated with Splatoon, so that's kind of cool. Now I know on the, um, the original Pro Controller, there was like a secret message hidden within the, uh, the, the, the stick here, and I will say, just from just from my experience with it, I have not found any kind of like, I know there's one that said you like, thank you to all gamers. I don't think there's a message in there either. Um, flipping this over, and you can kind of see again, they've, they've, they've gone with that artwork and that graffiti, even on the uh, even on the back of it as well. So you can kind of see, there we go, some of that, um, some of that back there. So that was, that was quite good. Um, oh, there we go, obviously turning it on. So this was my, um, yeah, it, it's a great controller. Uh, I mean, if you have a pro controller currently, it's, I mean, there's fundamentally nothing different other than the fact that this has Splatoon themed in colors. A couple of my original thoughts here is I, I, I do like this, I do like the fact they're making a specialized controller for it. I feel like the the effort they put in, like I love this graffiti artwork up here, I think that's very cool. I would have loved for that to, I would have loved for this kind of whole thing to be black, just like the pro controller the regular pro controller have this kind of graffitied artwork along it, along it but make these splats the different colors right so maybe this is like the, the lime green this is the pink over here um as opposed to just kind of i know people refer to it as like the ice cream dip um controller handles um i, I just feel like you could have done a little bit more to make it pop in relation to the design now, other than, I mean, you know, it's just the design, but I'm, I'm happy with it, it does its job, right? Like when I'm playing a game, I'm not often looking down and being like, wow, I'm really happy with how green and pink it is. It does its job, it lets me uh, control, play the games quite well. Um, this was my first time using a pro controller. I was using it, I was actually on, I'll be honest here, I've actually been using this over the weekend to do my kind of hands-on impressions of it as well. Uh, typically I've been playing like, uh, handheld mode or with a joy con attached moving to a pro controller especially for splatoon 2 you could definitely feel the difference the placement the spacing of the buttons the sizing um was definitely very different i had to actually re i had to kind of like try to um kind of like reshape my hands to remember to remember okay that's the plus that's where plus is that's where minus is that's where home that's where capture is um, so that was different, but it was definitely very comfortable playing Splatoon. Like it felt very natural, um, which I really, really liked about it. I will tell you the challenge I had with this, to be honest, actually though, um, and, and I think it's because Nintendo has done such a great job creating the ecosystem of very easily attaching your controllers and being on your way, like we did with the pro, um, like we did with the Joy Cons. When I got this out of the box, I kind of went to pair it, 
and it would it would pair momentarily. It would connect. I'd, I'd be able to like move through a couple screens or move through a couple tasks. But as soon as I moved to another screen, it would disconnect, and like it would kind of go, you know, green, 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 hold, and it would connect again. I'd be able to like do something, and then it would disconnect, connect, disconnect, disconnect, connect, uh, connect to a point that I was actually quite worried that I maybe had a faulty controller. Um, so my experience to connecting the controller to the switch was not as easy as I would have liked it to be. Um, I had to go like go get the instruction manual, open it up. It said like, hey, uh, make sure it's connected, you know, pair it with the USB port to the controller, which is what I ended up doing. Ran it through a couple of um, pairing options in the settings and then it connected and then I was able to disconnect the USB cord and it was fine. But I guess um, so much of the Nintendo Switch stuff has been very easy to connect. And this is the first time I was like, this seems a little bit challenging. It seems a bit arduous. Um, but, you know, maybe, maybe it's just because I've become comfortable with the Nintendo Switch ecosystem and how everything works together. But this is the first time that it felt like a barrier of entry. I was like, oh, that just doesn't feel right. But um, other than that, I would say it feels really nice. I like how big these trigger buttons are. Um, the fact that it includes a USB dongle is great to charge it. So I think that's fantastic. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it actually, to be honest, I was very quickly after playing Splatoon for a couple hours with it, I was like, why did I not buy one of these earlier? So if you are a, um, a Nintendo fan and you don't have a pro controller, I'd highly recommend it. Um, just for in general, the pro controller I think is really, really solid. Whether you want the Splatoon one or the black one is completely up to you. I wouldn't be shocked if Nintendo makes specific pro controllers for all of their like big, big title games. I wouldn't be shocked if we see a Mario Odyssey one at some point. Um, I don't know, it's tough to say, but these are very cool. I like it. Um, I'm happy with it uh, overall and uh, I will continue to play Splatoon with it. All right. All right guys, so that was my hands-on impression, unboxing and reviewing of the, um, of the Splatoon 2 Pro Controller. This should be available at places that you get your video games, hopefully, hopefully to Best Buy or an EB Games, Amazon potentially as well. Uh, but I picked this up at Smith's over here in Ireland. Um, and uh, yeah, they had some in stock. So good luck if you're uh, looking forward to hunting it down. But um, guys, thanks very much for watching Nintendo Dads and supporting everything that we do. Uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.